Welcome to the Milwaukee Bucks Fast Break presented by Columbia St. Mary's with Tony Smith. I'm Jeff Grayson. On Tuesday night, the Bucks lose by 12 in Portland, 107-95. So the Bucks have lost four straight now overall and five straight on the road. And they just couldn't catch the Trailblazers after being down by 14 early and 15 late. They made some runs, Tony, but just couldn't get over the top. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That first quarter, a slow start, I think, was really what did the Bucks in at the end of the day, Jeff. Just too much to recover from on a night where their main guy, Middleton, could not get it going early. Missed uh, a ton of shots to start the game. I think 0 for 9 he started the game. But after that, it heat up. At that point, you wasted a lot of energy and just could not climb that hill and get over the hump. But, you know, some other areas hurt the Bucks. They, they usually dominated in the paint. They were dominated there tonight. And then he also gave up some more three-pointers, and we've seen that before, too. Let's take a look at some of the final numbers. Uh, C.J. McCollum led the Blazers with 30 points. Shooting, not bad overall, but the three-point advantage, big time, an 18-point swing in the Blazers' direction. The Bucks shoot just 58% from the floor on free throws, I should say, and Tony mentioned the points in the paint. Let's hear from Jason Kidd now on the Bucks just not being able to catch the Blazers down the stretch. Well, we got it, you know, to five, we got it to six, uh, and we just couldn't get a stop. We give up a, a wide open three, or we gave up an offensive rebound where it was a dunk or a wide, you know, a backdoor layup. And so um, we're, we're close, you know, we just got to make some plays defensively, come up with the uh, a rebound. We got, they got a lot of back tips where they got another possession and capitalized on it. So again, offensively, uh, I thought guys were sharing the ball. Guys, were, uh, we had some misses uh, in that paint that caused that, you know, they come out, we miss a layup or two, and they come get a uh, and one, and then they get a, a three-point uh, three-pointer off of a missed layup. So, those are the things that can't happen. We got to be able to score those balls in the paint. Here are the next three for the Bucks. The road trip winds up Friday against the Jazz. Utah just a half game behind Portland for the final spot in the West. Tony, as of now, they have won three straight. Yeah, run into a, a pretty hot jazz team right now, but even if they weren't, the road is never kind <laughs> in the NBA, Jeff. It's always tough to win on the road, but the Bucks have to, you know, get ready, try to muster up some energy. They want a, a nice flight home from, from Utah on Friday night. They got to go out there and, and try to sneak a win in and salvage this road trip. Bucks is 7-23 and 23 on the road. We'll see if things can change on Friday. Join Tony and me for Bucks Live. That's going to do it for us now, though. The Bucks lose 107-95. That is the Milwaukee Bucks Fast Break presented by Columbia St. Mary's.